up YouTube? It is your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would like to say welcome and if you guys could, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. All that does help out the YouTube algorithm and helps boost my video to more and more people. So thank you to every single one of you guys that do that on my videos. And today we're back with another store review. Today's store is going to be Hype 247 in the heart of Atlanta. Let's see what this store is all about. Since I'll be going to Hype 247, I checked out the Instagram and I did see they did have a pair of Kobe Grinches in size 11. So I'm going to bring my size 10 and a half and I'm going to see if we can size swap, see if I need to add any money on top. Let's see what they can hook me up with. We just left Hype 247, a really dope store, I liked it. The vibe in there was good. It's a smaller store, but has a lot of sneakers. I did have to leave with my Kobe's. He didn't want to size swap with me. He said mine were too worn and I would have to add too much cash to get his. So it's all good. We did pick up a t-shirt, support the store. If you all are in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta specifically, right by the Coke factory, the Ferris wheel and the aquarium. Make sure to check out Hype247, it's a must on your list. So we'll be going back to the house and we'll give you my final review on Hype247. All right guys, so we are back at the house to give our final thoughts on Hype247. So let's go over some of the stuff I went there to go do and some of the stuff I picked up. So I originally went there to see if I could trade my Kobe Grinch's size 10 and a half. Um, I saw online that they had a size 11. So I was wondering if he would do a size swap, both were used. I just didn't know his condition of his pair. So when I went there, I saw his condition of his pair and his pair was really, really good. A lot better than mine's. But I brought mine in anyways to ask him to see what he can do. He decided that the deal wouldn't work in either favor. I would have to add too much and it would be a harder sell for him due to condition. So we both left it at that. I wasn't able to size swap. But I did make one pickup while I was there. Not anything too hyped. But hyped, you get it? Hype 247. It is actually something that is hype. But I just wanted to show love, support the brand, support the company. So we went with some of their Hype 247 merch. Um, right here we have Hype 247 right there on the front chesticle and then Hype 247 with that Fresh Prince of Bel Air font on the back. Um, as soon as you walk in you see a lot of signs that say no filming after permission so luckily for me he allowed me to film in the store. So as we're going to go over some of the footage I'll let you guys know my thoughts on pricing, selection, friendliness and general vibe. So first we'll go over pricing. One thing that I love and a lot of sneaker stores don't do is having the price on the bottom of the sneaker. So I was able to see the price of every shoe. I didn't have to constantly ask him, yo, what's the price on this? How much are this? Um, each shoe was labeled, which I do love that factor. Um, another factor that I liked was that everything was sectioned off by size and by brand. And for clothing, they had a small selection, but they did have some selection. And as we get to the front part, right underneath the cashier, right underneath the cash register, 
you have the crown jewel of all sneaker stores, which is their heat closet, their heat wall, heat cabinet, whatever you want to call it, where they have all their rare and expensive shoes. And of course, Hype 247 did not disappoint. They had a couple pair of Red Octobers, some original Yeezy Ones, uh, Freddy Krueger Dunks, a whole bunch of other different Dunks, um, some off-white Euro exclusive, Everything that's expensive, everything that was hyped was in that counter. But unfortunately, none of that stuff was for sale technically. All that stuff was offer up. So basically, he doesn't have a price for that. Obviously, he has a price in mind, but it's more of you offering, you giving your best offer for that item instead of having a price for sale. It's more of an item that you come and look and you see, more like an item that sells you on coming to the store just to see those items, not so much to buy those items. Now pricing, when you look at pricing on most of the items, I was comparing it to StockX and GOAT, and a lot of the items were well priced, whether that was right at StockX or maybe a little bit above. But I would say everything is appropriately priced, not anything too high, and I wouldn't say it was taxing. He definitely does have some steals and deals in there, so make sure to stay tuned to their Instagram, because I know he posts a deal of the day almost every single day, so you don't want to miss out on that. Now we're going to go over the general vibe and just friendliness of staff. So for the staff, there was one other person besides Khan there, and he was super friendly. Uh, we talked throughout the whole time there, asked me what I was looking for, what I was interested. Um, he actually talked to me about my YouTube channel, so shout out to you, I know you subscribed to my channel. I appreciate all the support and everybody showing me love. So the staff was super friendly and talkative, and like I said, they don't normally allow filming in there, but Khan allowed me to film, so shout out to Hype247. And the general vibe, was dope. He didn't really have music playing too loud. It was a light music going on in the background. There is a security guard at the front door, so you do kind of feel a little safe there. It is in the heart of downtown Atlanta, so you never know what might pop off there. So they have the security guard there for your protection and obviously the storage protection. So as you know, we've been giving all these stores a rating, and I'm going to give Hype247 a rating of an 8.7. I would definitely say check out Hype247. It's a great store and definitely worth going to. I'm going to link hype 247 social media down below, which is basically gonna be their Instagram, which they have their website, which you could buy from them. So make sure to check them out and show them some love. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are going to a sneaker store every single week, so you don't wanna miss out on any of those uploads. So don't forget to turn on post notifications to get notified as soon as they go live. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Brotillo Chip. Both of those links will be down in the description box down below. It's been your boy Tim, signing off. Peace.